हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई हैड टॉक्ड अबाउट मोबाइल एड हॉक नेटवर्क दैट इज मैनेट्स आई ऑल्सो टॉक्ड अबाउट द आर्किटेक्चर नेटवर्क आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ मैनेट टूडे आई विल टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट दैट इज हिडन नोट एंड एक्सपोज नोट प्रॉब्लम इन मोबाइल एड हॉक नेटवर्क फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल टेल यू वॉट द हिडन नोट प्रॉब्लम इज टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट लेट अस कंसिडर अ नेटवर्क सीनारियो विच इज कंप्राइजिंग ऑफ three mobile nodes s1 r1 and s2 as shown in this figure now let us assume that all these three nodes are transmitting at the same power the circles around these nodes they depict the radio coverage area now as shown in the figure the node r1 is located in the middle of the node s1 and s2 in other words node r1 lies in the coverage radio coverage area of node s1 as well as node s2 the node r1 can transmit the can receive the transmissions from both the nodes s1 as well as s2 but s1 and s2 they cannot receive transmissions from each other because s1 happens to be out of the range of s2 and similarly s2 is out of the range of s1 now when the node s1 transmits to the node r1 the node s2 cannot de cannot detect this transmission using the carrier carrier sense mechanism now if s2 is also transmitting to r1 at the same time then this transmission will coll will collide with that of the the transmission between r1 and s1 so both the transmissions will be corrupted at the node r1 so the node r1 can be a said to can be said as a hidden node for s1 and s2 so this will increase the data packet collision and hence it will reduce the throughput so that is the problem related to the hidden node that it will increase the data packet collision and it will also reduce the throughput now uh, is there any uh, method of uh, overcoming this problem of hidden node yes there is the carrier sends multiple access with rts rts is request to send or cts that is clear to send mechanism can help to solve the hidden node problem now next let us see what is the exposed node problem as i said csmca with rts or cts mechanism can resolve the hidden node problem only if the nodes are synchronized now when the node receive an rts packet data packet from the neighboring node but not the corresponding cts that is clear to send data packet is received then the node can deduce that it is an exposed node and it is permitted to transmit to the other neighboring nodes but now the second case is when the nodes are not synchronized when for example if the nodes are not synchronized then the problem may occur that the sender that the sender may not receive the clear to send data packet or the acknowledgement packet during the transmission of the second node. okay now in the wireless network the exposed node problem occurs when a node is prevented from sending the packets to the other nodes due to a neighboring transmitter remember this i am repeating again in a wireless network the exposed node problem occurs when a node is prevented from sending the packets to the other nodes due to the due to a neighboring transmitter to help understand this exposed node problem let us consider an example of four nodes as shown here in this diagram and they are labeled as r1 s1 s2 and r2 now as shown in this diagram the two nodes are out of the range of each other that is the node r1 is out of range of node r2 and vice versa that means r2 is out of range of r1 as well 
so yet the two nodes in the middle that is node s1 and s2 are in the range of each other if a transmission between the nodes s1 and r1 is taking place then the node s2 is prevented from transmitting to the node r2 as it concludes based on the carrier sense that it will interfere with the transmission by the neighboring nodes s1 however if the node r2 could still receive the transmission of the node s2 without interference because it is out of the range of the node s1 now when the node s1 transmits to the node r1 then the node s2 detects this transmission using carrier sense mechanism the node s2 refrains from transmitting to the node r2 hence the node s2 is exposed to s1's transmission so this situation reduces the bandwidth utilization and hence reduces the throughput so the possible solution is the use of directional antennas and separate channels for control and data so modified csma ca with rts and cts mechanism also help to resolve the exposed node problem the duration of the data transfer is included in the rts or cts control packet itself which instructs the other nodes not to trans transmit for this particular duration so if a rts or cts packet collides then the nodes wait for a random time which is calculated using the binary exponential back off algorithm and this scheme is known as maca that is multiple access collision avoidance maca maka that is multiple access collision avoidance thank you i hope the concept is clear to you thanks